Hello there people of YouTube, this is Jolster109 and I am giving you a video review of Transformers Age of Extinction Deluxe Class Dinobot Slug No, man, okay, where do I start? Um, well, he's a Triceratops, sort of, with extra horns right here on his chin Anyways, uh, let's go up, <laughs> let's go to his bio I'm still getting, still getting used to getting, getting back to the thing, swing of things. <laughs> this fiery warrior hates taking orders, unless it means he gets to destroy something. He will level anything in his path with a fit of white hot dino rage. Um, that's kind of awesome. <laughs> um, and I also like how it kind of nods, the, not, the, the, nods to the fact that s uh, Slug has always been the fiery type. Um, if you all know, Slag, um, has always had the, uh, flamethrower. I mean, all of them did, but I think Slag, for, in particular, always had the flamethrower. I'm not sure why, but I guess that's just what they're trying to do here. Um, white, hot, fiery rage. So, yeah, he has a flamethrower in his mouth. Um, so yeah, it does say Triceratops mode. It, 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 it has Triceratops, but, like, with extra horns on his chin, so, um, just to make it more, um, awesomer, <laughs> not a word, uh, why is that, what, let me just start, pop the light a little bit, um, the glare, hold on, yeah, you can kind of see slag, slug, oh, man, that glare, anyways, also available is Bumblebee, Crosshairs and Scorn, and I do have Crosshairs of Mumblebee. I did get them um, a few nights ago, like about a week ago, maybe. Yeah, about a week ago. Um, I bought them at Target, so yeah. Uh, so here's Slug, and I have him kind of posed in a way that he's running, but it doesn't really look like he's running. He's kind of like I don't know. It's kind of hard to pose him in Dino mode. All of them actually. Scorn, Grimlock. Well, Grimlock is kind of is kind of. Easy, or not easy, but like, it's kind of tricky to uh, uh, pose Grimlock. Slug here, it's kind of, like, if you can pull it off, then it'll work, but, uh, like I said, I was trying to, was trying to pull off a, a pose where he's kind of charging at, 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 at somebody. Um, you know, like, da -da 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 kind of like that, but I can't pull it off very nicely. <laughs> um, yeah, but that's Slug, anyways. Uh, yeah. Actually, let me, let me get him out of this so you can kind of see him more evenly. Um, I, I, like, the back legs in Dino Mode are not meant to move, I think. They're kind of meant to stay in one place because... Hold on, I'm about to show you guys. Um, like, the, the tail section is meant to clip in. Let me show you. Okay. Uh, let's see. These these notches right here on the... Uh, right Right there. These notches... They're supposed to clip in, like, right here, I, I'm guessing, but for, like, I don't know, but that doesn't reach at all. Um, like, barely, if you can, it's not supposed to, like, it, it doesn't reach it, so, I guess that's just a flaw in, in the design, but I guess it does help in the fact that you can pose him better, because, like I said, like, if that was plugged in, you wouldn't be able, to, like, he, he wouldn't be able to, uh, you wouldn't be able to pose his back legs, or hind legs, I should say proper terminology here, um, <laughs> so I guess that's a good thing, um, but in order to pull it off, like, you would have to move the, 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 uh, the robot foot out of the way, which kind of acts like, like, in Dino Mode, it looks like just a spike sticking out, it's kind of, like, yeah, it's, it's, it's like a spike sticking out, and I guess if you move it out, it looks like a bigger spike, so that's pretty cool, I guess, <laughs> um, so yeah, you have that, and this little feet him can move. Um, also, like, it, you know, swivels a little bit, like, it has some maneuverability, but not a whole lot in the hind legs. The front legs, though, um, not even a whole lot there either, because, like, it's on a ball joint. Um, oh boy, sneeze. <coughs> okay, excuse me. Ah, God, freaking allergies. Okay. Oh, God, I hear another one coming on. No! Oh! Okay, uh, what was I? Ball joint, right. <laughs> Ball joint right here, so it, it, it can move in and out a little bit, and it can 
turn. But not, like, again, not a whole lot dude, just due to how much stuff there is here. Like this, this big shoulder pad and then with the frill it hits against it so it can't get a whole lot of movement. Um, like I said, if you can pull it off like that, then yeah, it'll work. Um, also, this can move back and forth. Uh, the toes can't do anything. And his head does move a little bit. Uh, it can only move up and down. So we can have him like this, where he's going to like really ram into something. Or like this, where he's just going to stare into your soul. Look at those eyes. Look at them eyes. Wow, okay. Uh, also, his mouth can open and close. So there's that. And he has a lot of teeth. And the teeth are made of soft rubber. There's, it's the same material that the jaw is made out of and the horns. So, no killing here. Whoa. <laughs> no killing here tonight, Slug. So yeah, that's Slug. Dinobot Slug, officially. But yeah, whatever. No one really calls him Dinobot Slug. It's Slug. So yeah, there he is. I kind of wish that this was the same color as this, but I can forgive it. Um, actually, like, I, I hardly even notice it half the time, because I'm not looking at it like this. I look at it most of the time like this, and I always pay attention to the front, to the, to the, to the you know, head-on. The red frill, the purple, the purpleness, the silver, the blue eyes. <laughs> I'm sorry, like, if, like if, if it seems like this guy is getting out of view a lot, it's because I'm looking at him and not the camera, so. I shall try and look at the camera more. Okay. So let's get it transforming him. Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my gosh, I should have been more prepared. Uh, I have such an amateur. One second. Okay. Whew. Those are swords. And they store ridiculously on his dino mode. Okay, so these are the swords he uses in robot mode, but they don't store. They, they, they Okay. Oh, let me just show you. So there's a hole, like right through his whole midriff there. Um, yeah, like it goes right through. That's actually where the fist is. Um, so let's see. You would just take this and just slide it in. Try to find the fist hole and just slide it through. And there. And. There, if I can get it in. Come on, get in. There. And now he can charge through a city block and destroy absolutely everything that is next to him. Um. When I first saw this, I thought that the sword, like the like the like first promo images of this guy from Toy Fair. I thought that these things were like more angled, like this way, and I thought that would look cool, but it's not. It's, it's sticking straight up, or straight out, I should say. Um, uh, no. I think if they found a way to store it, like, store these things maybe up here, it would look a little bit better. I mean, like, right now I'm just trying to friction them in, but like, if it was something like that. That that would look a whole lot better, I think. Um, but I don't know. This is just you just yeah. Anyways, so yeah, let's transform him, which is fairly simple but fairly intuitive. I'm using big words. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is just lift up the tail and get that out of the way. So now you want to take the robot feet, flip them up. Um. Okay. Then extend the robot's leg. Like that, and then fold the dino foot in so that becomes kind of the knee pad. Just flip that up, and that's the easy part. The most interesting part for the transformation is his arms. So, okay, let me just flip that in. Okay, let me angle up a bit. Um, okay, so let's see. Here, you what you want to do is kind of get move these things out of the way like this. Um, and then this whole uh, torso piece for the, for the dino mode is really his arms in robot mode. So you just want to un, untab them. They just tab in right there. Whoops. Um, from here. Yeah, this just tabs in. Um, and now that that's untabbed, you want to take, you want to, okay, this is kind of tricky. Okay. Just kind of push them forward all, like, past the dino, the, the front legs. 
and just kind of angle the head so you can get a good grip on it and just split it in half. It's kind of like um, how Grimlock's transformation is where the dino head splits in half and becomes shoulder pads. This is the exact same thing, only just done differently. So, okay, now that it's kind of split, okay, this part's tricky. You can already kind of see his head poking up there. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is tricky. Okay, so now you want to take the dino, the front legs, and kind of angle them down like this. And that should give you room to do this. Sort of. It's kind of cramped. So, okay. Now that he's like this. Goodness gracious. Okay. Take the, uh, okay, to the arms. Um, twist the fists out. And then close that up. And that's the arm. Which is really cool. I really do like how this transforms. So, just flip the fist out. Fold that panel in, and now there you have bulky arms. Now, what you want to do is there's a tab right there behind the front leg of the dino mode, and there's a tab right there. It's kind of tricky to line it up. I don't know. Sometimes it's hard, sometimes it's easy. Um, like, I don't know why it doesn't go in sometimes. Okay, just kind of angle it. Oh boy. Actually, hold on. I should, yeah, I should probably do that first. Like, you, you want you want to push in. You want to you push these things, the, the, the arms back until they kind of notch into place. You'll feel it. Ay, my leg is itchy. Ah! Whew, that was really itchy. Okay. Okay, come on, just kind of... Yeah, like, okay, after, after the notches into place, you want to tab... And there we go. It's really hard sometimes. Okay, so on the other side, do the same thing. Just kind of tab it in. Uh, like that, and okay, straighten this up a little bit. And last but not least, fold that down. And now you have Slug pretty much in his robot mode. Now, if I can just get him to stand properly, hold on, just okay. Come on, work with me. Okay. God. Okay, there we go. That's Slug. And he looks... He just looks like a big, bulky dude you just do not want to mess with. Or anger, at all. I mean, like, he's got these things just protruding from his shoulders, which that looks pretty sick. Um, he's got a Triceratops head for shoulders. Shoulder pads. And these actually are shoulder pads. Like... If you if like if you move the arm, there's a shoulder joint right here, but this is this is a completely separate piece, so it just rests rests over the shoulder joint. Um, so yeah, actually actually I might as well go over the articulation. So it's, I was starting it. God, I can't talk. I need a drink of water. Ah, uh, my water's inside the room. Uh, okay, so his head can rotate a little bit, not a whole lot. Um, probably due to the fact that this like. The way his helmet shape is, this nose piece is kind of colliding with this collar piece. Um, so it can't really go further than that. But it's not like it matters anyways. This guy's going to be charging forward most of the time anyways, I'm sure. He can't look up or else he start popping his head off. Um, let's put that back in. And he can look down. Strangely. So yeah, that's that. Uh, shoulders can move forward, move back, out. And then the, 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 these uh, Triceratops shoulder pads uh, do a really good job of staying out of the way, so you can just get a whole lot of movement going on. It twists at the bicep, bends at the elbow, and his wrist can go forward and back quite a bit. And that's actually kind of useful for if you want to make him look more natural in his stance, I guess. So there's that. He has a waist swivel, an intentional waist swivel, I should say. Grimlock doesn't have one, and Scorn, um, Scorns would be hindered back here, but, like, if you, if you adjust it in a way where it kind of rests evenly, it, it, he does have a waist swivel. It's kind of high up, but he does have one. You just need to kind of fan mode him a bit. So this is the only, the first intentional waist swivel for a Dinobot. Uh, you can move this tail piece out of the way, because, I don't know, just like that. Uh, legs go forward. Go back if you move that back out of the way. Um, bends at the knee, 
turns at the thigh. Uh, these dino things can stick up. I guess if you want to have them like, yeah, like knee, whoa. <laughs> if you want to knee someone in the face, you can have like spikes right there. So that's a cool little feature. And his feet um, can go for, well, can point really. They can, yeah. Um, it's really hard to get in the feet adjusted because like there's no, like you don't really know where they're meant to be. If you put them all the way up, they're just going to fall over like it's drunk. So it's really tricky to find the right spot for them from the stand. And also, the the, the way the feet are designed, like this is just a big chunk of just armor. So it's really fine, like, like it's, it, okay, how do I explain this? It's like, this is like the heel, but I don't know, like he's always leading on one side. And I don't know why, that, that really irritates me. Like, oh my god, it really does. Because even if we try to straighten out the knees, hold on. Maybe if I just do that, let me straighten out the knees a bit. Um, well, meh. it looks alright, but I don't know, he still looks like he's leaning. I, I, I don't know, I can't tell. I guess it looks alright. Um, let me see. Uh, it looks alright, I guess. So yeah, that's Slug, and here's his weapons. Swords, made of rubber. Never grew up until you asked me. So if you <laughs> put them in his fists, and now he has swords. Like every other Dinobot, I'm sure. Let's see, Grimlock has his mace, Scorn has his jousting stick, and and a sword. Slug has double swords. Um, Slash is gonna have axes, I think. Uh, Strafe has a crossbow, I think? Um. Snarl is gonna have some sort of axe looking thing or mace. I don't know what the heck it is. And Slog might have like a ham I don't I don't know. I think it might, or just I think it's just it's just like giant jousting sticks. So that's what that is. Um so yeah, here's the swords. Too bad if wrist can't swivel or else you would have like really nice uh things going on. But you can't turn at the uh the uh, Bicep, <laughs> so you can kind of go like this, having one like like saluting someone like hmm like that. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, so yeah, that's that. That's his swords. Not bad. I I've I gotten him in I've gotten him in pretty good poses. I don't want to pose him right now because, well, it's gonna be a little difficult. So yeah, that's that. Slug. Also, his Autobot symbol is on his right, left, forearm, for some reason. It's right there. Um, that's that's actually on the side of the Triceratops torso, so I guess that's why it's there. I don't know. I kind of I kind of I kind of wish it was like on the frill, because if you look at the concept art that they have out there for, or not the concept, like the promo, promo, promo images of Slug in this Dino mode, you can see the Autobot symbol on the frill. I kind of wish they did something with, with this. Um, I don't know. At least painted it on or something, but. Eh, whatever. I can, I can, I can forgive it. So yeah, that's Slug, and here he is with Scorn, his fellow deluxe Dinobot, and here's Grimlock. Let me just move Scorn out of the way. Here's Grimlock with his G1 companion, Slug. Well, not really G1, because the G1 one is Slag, not Slug. But whatever. That's these two are buddies from. Way back in the 80s. Scorn is the new guy. But he's a good new guy. Anyways. So yeah, that's that's that. And let's go back to Slug here. Let me transform him back into Triceratops mode. So, you want to take the swords out. I'm not going to put him back in Dinosaur mode because it looks ridiculous. So just, you know, unplug, like, like make sure you... Yeah. God, I think the fact that I made a rubber makes it a little bit tricky to pull it out. And plus, like, you don't want to bend it too much. It is very bendy. It is very bendy, and for some reason it can do this. Um, and the packaging was actually like this, where these things were sticking up a bit. Um, I don't know, if that it was like that, but that's just for storing it in packaging. So, anyways, here's Slug. Let's kind of warm him. So, you want to undo that, undo that, and flip the fists back in their little sockets. So just flip that back in, unplug the dino legs from the torso, like that. 
<clears throat> and now just take the frill, flip that back up. Oh boy, it's gonna get crammed. Uh, it's kind of tricky to do this considering everything's like really tight. Not, not not tight like as in it's hard to move. It's just that it's everything's close together. Okay, so now we just want to bring this together. Okay, actually, actually, we want to make sure that his head is pointing straight because like yesterday when I was transforming him, um, like I, I guess I had his head off to the side, and then um, when I was looking on top, like you can kind of see that that his head kind of kind of, like is meant to look like it's also part of the dino spine, um, kind of like this with the nubs. Little spikes coming up. Uh, it was off to the side, like really awkwardly. It was like that, and I had to kind of transform him again to, get, to fix it. So just make sure his head, his head is pointing forward and looking down. Um, okay, so once it's like this, um, okay, come on, look at me. Okay, kind of angle the head up a bit and plug it back together. So plug back together nicely. Even the even the horn plugs in a bit, like it's like it's uh, the two halves pegged together, the two halves of the jaw pegged together, and the two halves of the skull pegged together. So that's that. Um, okay, once you're here, okay, this can be kind of tricky. Okay, th like th this, this is probably the most difficult part because it's hard to move to move the uh, the dino torso up to up to here and moving this down. So I guess what you want to do, yeah, see, it's really hard. Okay. Um, Let's see. Maybe, maybe one at a time. Let's see. Let's see if that works. I still haven't found a good way to do this. Or okay. Uh, you know what? Okay. Move that arm out of the way. Or arms out of the way. Let me do that. Actually, come on. Move. Make sure the silver spike, this giant shoulder piece, is behind the frill. Um. Okay. So silver back. And now take the arms, and kind of collide them in. And see right here. There's a tab, and there's a tab hole. And align the two like so. There we go. There we go. And now, okay. Kind of rearrange all this. Okay, just make sure everything's nice and snug. Okay, so that's the hardest part done. Now it's just a matter of. This, the legs, it was just the easiest part. So, basically just bend the knee until, until it folds back up, folds back up, flip the feet out, like so. By the way, if you're hearing like, like a humming sound in the background, that's my ceiling fan. It's always making noises. I've gotten used to it by now, but whatever. Okay, so now just take, let me go down a bit. Um, put the put the robot feet all the way up, and now just rest this over top. I like okay, just yeah, like that. And let's see, kind of like that, and like that. I like to kind of have. I want to make sure that the that the the very end of the that the foot is like in between these two little panels. Like make sure there's three in front. Um, yeah, that's what I like to do. And so now, just a matter of adjusting him and making him look not so derpy. And there he is, pretty much in dino mode. There's Slug. Woo, we did it in 24 minutes. Good. Okay, so. That's it for Slug, um, and all the Dinobots, I should say, at least for Wave 1. It's just Grimlock, Scorn, and Slug. I have officially done them. Um, the other Dinobots, let's see, Slash and Strafe are coming in Wave 2, I'm guessing. And then Wave 3 consists of Slog and Snarl. Slog is going to be a Voyager class, so that's a good thing. And Snarl is probably going to be a Deluxe, but I don't mind that, considering he's a smaller dinosaur. Um... But yeah, there he is. There's Slug. Stay tuned for my next review, which is probably going to be Optimus. So stay tuned for that. Anyways. Whew. I'm done here, people.
Yep, stay tuned for more. Goodbye.